All right, so I want to do a quick video here on adjusting the travel on this uh, fork I got through the Suntour upgrade program to upgrade the coil fork on my bike. Uh, this is a Radon. Uh, it's the 32 millimeter version. Uh, I have not seen any videos um, specifically addressing the 32 millimeter. I've seen some for the uh, Pixion, which is like the next level up, uh, but I believe they're about the same. So. I've never dug it into anything like this before, so I've never taken a fork apart or service one. So I just received the fork and I'm going to be kind of working through it live here. But I wanted to just create a video to show people how to do that if they do get this fork, because I think it's a pretty popular upgrade that people do. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take the cap off here. So this is where uh, the valve for, you know, putting the air pressure in is. And we're going to let all the air out of the fork. Just gonna use a little screwdriver to push down the valve. Then you can see the fork collapses. All right. The next thing is the rebound adjustment. You gotta just pull off this cap. All right, so that rebound adjuster is just basically got an O-ring, it clips in, and it's essentially just a little Allen key that turns the screw inside there. So then you got two two bolts to take off here on the end. So the two sizes are, this is a five millimeter Allen and this side is an eight. So I'll pull those off. All right, now that that's all done, this thing should just, just pull apart. All right, that was actually pretty difficult to pull apart for the first time there, but I did get it out. So it's kind of had to pull on this here, give it a pretty good tug when it was on the ground and got it to got it to pop out of there. So the next step is going to be taking an adjustable wrench and removing this nut on the end here. All right, then we pull this assembly out of here. And there's the travel adjustment. So from what I saw for similar forks is we need to knock this roll pin out here and we can move it anywhere. Um, I believe down this way would actually increase the travel and this would lower it. So I believe they're set at a hundred from the factory. Uh, moving it this way would move you down to 80 millimeters of travel. Moving this way would give you 120. All right, so we're going to knock this pin out. Um, I had seen some people do a similar method to this. I'm going to use a punch. I I found a punch that fits through the hole, so I can knock the roll pin in and know that it will knock it out. I'd seen some other people do something like this where they had a hole through, because you want to support this. You either want to hit directly down on it, um, or you want to support closely to either side uh, with a soft material. So I just put a quarter-inch hole in uh, this block of wood here. All right, knocked it through, went right through our hole there. Just slide this little black ring down and we're gonna start it into this hole further down. Uh, you just wanna make sure it doesn't stick up past. So I got a little bit more to go there. It's gonna slide within that bore. And just take your punch and put it in a little bit past flush all right we're just under now just underneath so it's perfect all right gonna put this back up in here i believe so get it up in there in the center then slide the aluminum nut back over like this Thread it down by hand. And now we can slide this back together with the lower section. Push it all the way down and then put your, your bolts in at the bottom and put the rebound control back in.
All right, now we're we're all assembled again, and just got to put air in the fork based on the chart that came with the fork. So I gotta just look up my weight and uh, determine what the air pressure should be. Appears that we might have gone the wrong way. That might have been that might have made it 80 millimeters. I didn't film it, but. Before I would measure here and there was about four, a little like four and a quarter. Now there's three and a quarter inches. So it looks like we adjusted it to be 80 millimeters. So we're taking it back apart. All right, so we're reassembled here. I, I took the thing apart again, exactly the same process that I showed. And I moved the pin from the lowest position and I moved it up too because I moved it originally from the 100 position down to the 80 and I wanted it to go up to the 120. So I just repeated the process, moved the pin up so that was a mistake on my part, uh, learning experience. So now I get to take the thing apart twice. All right, that looks better to me, so.